Hi, Jonathan Kadish from Aquaponics NYC, and I know what you're thinking. Those aren't skyscrapers, they're uh, trees, and you're right. Uh, I'm actually up here in Woodstock, New York, which is about a hundred miles north of New York City. I've been spending some more time up here, um, so I figured it's time to build uh, an aquaponic system up here so I can continue to do what I'm passionate about. Um, so the system I'm building up here, since I have more room, is going to be about three times the size of the system I have in my uh, New York City apartment. Um, and this series of videos, I'm going to do about eight videos, seven or eight videos, uh, it, are going to cover the various aspects of building that system out. This first video is going to cover the components of the system. Um, you know, all the different things that I've purchased uh, and, you know, what you can do if you want to build the same system. Um, the other ones are going to be on the construction, uh, the grow bed and the grow bed line or the plumbing and the siphons, uh, the media, the lighting. I'm trying out some new kinds of lighting. Um, and some uh, some videos about the uh, cycling and the inoculation of the system to get the bacteria running. So we have a lot to talk about, so let's get started. So here is the design that I will be building with three row beds on top of a fish tank. Um, I chose these dimensions, 66 by 31, because they really match the lighting that I'm going to be using. Uh, the lights are going to be 200 watts um, each. I'm going to have two of them, um, have them right next to each other, and they generally uh, take care of a 30 to 33 inch canopy of plants. So uh, all the plants should get plenty of light. Uh, in this configuration. So what I've chosen for my fish tank is this Rubbermaid commercial stock tank. Um, as you can see it's weather and crack resistant but we're going to have this indoors so that's not a real issue. Uh, it is 100 gallons and I should be able to get a fair amount of fish in there although I don't plan to be stocking more than 10 goldfish or so or maybe five or six koi. Um, this tank needs really no modification. Uh, it's just serving as the tank and the base of the system. I'll be using two by three studs to make the foundation of the grow beds, which will be resting on top of the tank. I'll also be using uh, these one by ten boards uh, to make the grow beds. And of course we'll be using deck screws to put the studs together and one and a half inch screws to put the boards together into the grow beds. This project also requires these heavy duty drawer slides, which I'll explain in the next video. In my last project, I used EPDM pond liner uh, to line the grow beds, but this time around I'm using Durascrim, which is a polyethylene film um, the main reason I'm using this is because it's become sort of the standard in the aquaponics industry uh, for use in organic systems, systems that can be certified organic because polyethylene is non-reactive with environmental factors. Once again, I will be using an EcoPlus pump. I found them to be very reliable. Uh, the original pumps I have are still working years afterwards. Um, and they're cheap, so we'll be going with this Eco Plus 396. We will be using various PVC pipes, elbows, T's, caps, and ball valves. So we'll go over all of that in the plumbing video. I'm sure there's some other bits and bobs that I'm leaving out, but uh, we'll just have to leave them out for now. As we build the system, I'm sure we'll fill those gaps in, but for now, I think it's time to start building this system. 
All right. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, because you want updates of all the next videos and how we build the system. So until next time, Aquaponics NYC, Woodstock Edition, signing out.